Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Becker Designs. I've got another fun beauty of the deep card for you. Um, this one is a shaker. I kind of was going for an aquarium theme and I used a sentiment from Happy Labels, Love You and Miss You. I kind of thought that was kind of fun to go with that little lone um, fish there in the aquarium. All right, well, let's get started. Um, I think we'll make the shaker first, or we'll, we'll start with the shaker pieces um, because we need to let some of that glue dry. Um, I have cut out already two of our um, country corner shapes. One of them we're just gonna leave as is, and then the other one we're gonna cut um, like that so that it is a, a frame. Um, so before we do that, we're gonna grab one of the stamps and add some texture. This is like maybe the little bubble image or I don't know, maybe sand. You could use this for the sand, but I'm just gonna take it and stamp it along that edge. Um, I'm gonna kind of stamp off and then stamp, stamp, stamp again. Some of it, I want it to be a little bit darker, but as you stamp, you're gonna get different levels of ink so some of it will be dark and some of it will be light. So just go around like that. All right, now for this one, the back image, we're gonna stamp this fan coral. Well, if I can get that picked up. <laughs> um, we're gonna stamp this fan coral in the back, but I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm gonna stamp off first and then stamp. And I'm stamping up towards the top because most of the bottom will be covered up. All right, there we go. Now, um, let's stamp our fish and our anchor. While we have our cut and emboss machine over here, we can cut all of those out. There's our angel fish. In berry burst, and let's do our anchor in smoky slate. Right there. All right, now let's get the cut and emboss machine over here and why don't we cut out our little shapes first we've got a die for the anchor and a die for the fish there we go very carefully let's slide it through and there are those two pieces. Now we're gonna save this for our sentiment here in just a second, but we also need to cut out that uh, small, or that um, countryside corners boho blue shape. You wanna get your die centered in there nicely. Make sure it's even around all the sides and then run that through as well. Okay, so now we're gonna use something called a window sheet. And a window sheet is just a clear piece of acetate. I get asked often where I get these window sheets and they're in our Stampin' Up! catalog. They're very inexpensive and they last a long time. They come in 12 by 12 sheets. You get two sheets per package. So I find that they last a really, really long time. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid glue and you wanna spread it out and not be real thick because you don't want it to squish out onto your acetate. Now I'm gonna take this and just carefully set it down and we're gonna trim off all those edges in a little while after it's dry. But let's move that out of the way, put that over here. Um, we have got our, our piece, our background piece. I have cut out our coral from Blackberry Bliss. And again, I'm just gonna use little dots of liquid glue. And as you can see, the bottom part here is gonna cover up about a quarter inch. So I'm gonna start about a quarter inch up and put that right there. And we will adhere our anchor with many dimensionals. like that and our fish we'll just put him right up here him or her like that 
All right, so let's set that aside for just a second. All right, to create this background on our card, I am gonna use one of our Artistic Mix masks. And I've got a four by five and a fourth inch piece of Boho Blue cardstock. I'm gonna use just a little bit of adhesive, just a dot back there to hold it down. And then actually, this is the wrong mask. Let me grab the other one. Here's the mask I wanna use. I'm gonna set it down and I'm gonna use the grid lines on my grid paper to make sure it's straight as well. I have a little bit of post-it tape here that I'm holding the mask down on. Um, we're gonna use Boho Blue ink and a blending brush. And I'm just going to start on the edge and just move around. And you can do this as dark or as light as you would like. I like to start over on the grid paper because every time you set your brush down, it's gonna give you kind of a hard edge. So if you start over here and then drag it over, you're not gonna get that hard edge on your beautiful piece of cardstock. All right, isn't that beautiful? Now, one thing I wanted to do is add some, what looks like water, maybe water splatters. And so I'm gonna take my aqua painter or uh, my water painter and some water and I'm just gonna kind of drop some water on here maybe do some flicks for the smaller little water drops grab a paper towel and just set it down on there and it will pull up some of that um, color you can see and we're gonna give it just a minute or so to dry and you'll see when I bring it back it's gonna look even better all right while we are Waiting on that, let's finish up our shaker. You're gonna want to grab your scissors and trim this off all the way along the edge, like this. All the way along. And there we go. All right, now I'm gonna take my foam adhesive strips and I'm just gonna start fitting this into the frame like this. And you can bend it as you go. It will, it's pretty pliable. It'll do exactly what you want it to do, but you wanna stay inside that edge, okay? So that it won't be seen. We're gonna put some sequins in here. Um, so they're kind of big. Uh, it's, it's not like glitter where I'm a little bit worried that it could all seep out of a tiny hole. These won't do that. So I'm not gonna worry too much about bumping my edges up together. Just make sure they're pretty close. And then trim that and set that there. All right, so now we, we will Remove the backing like that and bring this over and I've got some loose sequins, loose silver sequins. You don't wanna to use too many because then they won't shake around a lot. So just a little bit like that and make sure they're all away from the edge so when we stick our, our top piece down, it won't stick them down. And then just lay that carefully down like that. All right. Now for our sentiment, I'm gonna take um, Berry Burst ink and I'm just gonna stamp this right across a piece of basic white like that. Grab my trimmer. and just slice it off pretty narrow. And we'll put a dot of glue on each side and set this. I smeared my ink a little bit, so we may have to trim that. Let's see if we can get that on there like that. And we'll trim that edge off so that that little smear of ink isn't showing. 
All right, now there is your, your uh, shaker, so cute. All we need to do is finish up our background and we are ready to go. So you can see how those water spots have lightened up a little bit. Um, they created what looks like, you know, maybe a little, little spill from our aquarium. Put that right there. And then I'm gonna take some liquid glue and put that right on the back like that. And you can, liquid glue is gonna give you a little bit of wiggle room to be able to kind of twist it and get it in the place that you want. And then your linen thread will tie around up here at the top of our fold. Right like that. And then trim it off and there's your card. A really fun and cute card. You could always change that sentiment to something else if you didn't have a need for it. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. I've got a free PDF for you over on my blog. It's got the measurements, here we go, the measurements and the supply list, as well as two other Beauty of the Deep cards. Thanks everybody, have fun stamping, bye-bye.